Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach about the relational database relationship, right? If you want to make the particular software, the relationship will be must. If you are go to the Java along with the framework Springboard, you need a relationship. If it is a if you, if you are the PHP developers, they are going their journey starting from the Laravel, they need a relationship. If you know these three things must okay on to one one to many many to many with sql server right so here the my sql so how to create the establish a database connection right all the things i will be explaining one by one with the examples so then you will be able to clear how to make the relationship one to one how to make the relationship one to many how to make the relationship with many to many this this must you have to know right first time i'm going to take the example of home Right. imagine you have a home okay so uh, you uh, in your home there are five members living in your house right uh, brother you have a three brothers father and you have a uh, you have another friend right so we have a, you have a five members imagine you have five members living in the house so home condition will be the first time they are your father is telling one member can use one bike okay you have a in your home there are several motorbikes available so in this situation they are telling one member can one by uh, member can use only one bike so one to one relationship the one member can use only one bike right so in this scenario how to establish in our sql code so i am i just drop the table and see right so okay, first i am going to create the database right appropriate database for that scenario i'm going to create the database as home database run the home database the home database is created successfully you will be able to see here the home database is created here you will be able to see here so i'm going to use home database use home to run it after that i'm going to create the two different tables first one is a member table another one is a bike table i'm going to create the two tables right so based on this scenario member and bike right member has some attributes and bike has their respective attributes right so member has these attributes member has id member has a name member has nic number and contact number right so id should be member id should be primary key name it should be not null so the nic number should be unique and contact number should be unique you have to do right like this when you create the database this should nic number unique and contact number should be unique because nic number the, the one person can can have one one nic number one person can have one contact number okay so that you can understand once this scenario well right one number can have have one nic number one can a number have one contact unique guy right so the, based on this scenario, you have can create it, right? So this sub here have create the member table. Right? So select this and I'm going to execute. Here the member table has been created. Right? So bike has some attributes. Those are bike number, should be primary key. Bike has a model, it's a member ID. Member ID means what is the member ID? So here, member table id it goes to the bike table we have to do it as a member id so this bike has a, this bike has one member without a member person there is no bike the, if, 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 if it is a bike there should be the member so that member id we have right here right. that member id is coming from which table member table this primary key which is goes to the member bike table called as foreign key right so how to implement the foreign key you have to type constraint okay here this one i am going to explain in few minutes wait so constraint foreign key member id so this member id reference member this table id this table member table id which is id which is a which id which is a member id this table i am going to create the uh, member id like this this way so you have to write constraint foreign key this member id reference to member this member table primary key this side this id will be this member id okay this this like a foreigner 
come to your city village okay like like that the, this is a separate table this is a separate table this table which id will be coming to which table bike table so here reference to which table this member table id is reference to this member id this how we have established the foreign key relationship right so why are we are implement the constraint unit member id mean when you are making the relationship one to one you have to implement at the the bike table you have a unique constraint unique member id so one member can have one bike okay one can member can't have more than one bike one can one member can have only one bike so so if you are remove this one one member can have many bikes so here we can we our condition is one member can have only one bike so that you have to write like this okay imagine if you are if you have a school okay if it's school as one head one principal the school has one principal right so there are several vice principals there but the the, the, the school has one head so likewise here scenario okay that situation you can write like this constraint unit okay you have to understand that right so we have to implement this here we have to write it here this one you have to write member we have to member you have to get the member member number member number member name nic number and contact number i'm going to this value i'm going to insert into the database click on this second one i'm going to click on this second one second one in successfully third one i am going to insert it right so we have to insert it successfully now you can see here i am going to refresh it the table uh, this is a table form table i'm going to refresh it here is table as here's a member table we have a this data right member id member name nic contact number right now let's go to the query the query we have a bike table you have to select this one bike table create here bike table has been created successfully so we have to create a bike insert run it bike has created so bike has created right so this is a bike values bike number bike model member id m001 or m001 right so you can see here imagine m001 create another bike this bike now you can see if you are under code it should be error you can see here if you are under code here duplicated we can't duplicate it, right so one number should have one bike so m002 we can have one bike here 0002 honda that's a m002 m002 honda this bike Okay, we can select this one. We can run it. But it's duplicated. Let's here. I have created both. That's why it will duplicate here. I have created both. So here uh, you can see the query. The query. I have already run that code. This, this two, two queries I have already run. That's why I again created it will be duplicated. Right? So if you have imagine we have a, another member, I have to MM3. You can see MM3. It he has a bike for 40. If you have created this one, it will be created. Okay, it will be created. Right. So perfect. Now you will be able to understand. Okay, this member has one bike. Okay, it okay, only one bike this member can have. One zero zero M zero zero member can have only one bike. This member can have one bike. This member can have one bike. That's it. That's the thing. Yeah, right. Okay. So right. now let's do the another thing. We have to drop the table. Okay, here in this scenario we have created the database using the one to one relationship. So the same table I'm going to create again for the scenario of many to many now let's come to the one to one many one to many relationship you can see one is a member table other hand we have a bike table 
one member can have many bytes right now the home can change the reg, reg, change the rules earlier they given the rule as one member can have one byte now they can change the rule as one member can one member can have a two bytes imagine you in your home you have in your home uh, have five bytes right each member can each member can use two bytes so one member can have one to many relationship one member can use two bytes so here you can see the member here byte number model member id member id m001 member can access m001 and m002 byte so imagine if the member press m002 this member can have different byte so m0002 right so this member you can imagine it has a different byte 6 the d so this is a member can have two numbers three this of four now you can say I have this member m c m two this member have a different byte numbers right this member can have different this member can't use this byte right? this member can't use this byte okay so one member can have one member can have more than two bytes right one member can have more than one two bytes okay so this member can't use this member two bytes Number two member contacts member one by right one mem one one to many that relationship right if any member use this all the bikes it come under the many to many relationship so the one to many one to many relationship one member can have many bikes right so let's go to the SQL example again you have to create the member table same thing I not no need to explain so you if you go to the bike table you can see here if it is a uh, bike table one to one relationship we assign, we gave the constant unique uh, unique id member id so here we have to cut off the member id over here that's the only thing that the constant we have to cut off this constant we have to cut off only one when you are uh, when you are make the relation one to one only we have to give the constant unique but one to one may one to many relationship you have to cut off this one okay get rid of this the constant unique id member id if you cut off this one that is under the one to many relationships so here the same thing only the this line we have cutting same one to one relationship only that one line we have to remove it okay so one member has many bikes so one to many member id refer to the id is coming from this member id table member ID, right the same thing right so here we have to this one you have to now we are going to this table i'm going to create it select sorry we have to use this table home now we have to create these tables one to one to many insert it home mem sorry i haven't created these tables okay we haven't created this table member table you have to create a member table now the table is created bike table is created we have to create two tables right without table how to insert the values that's why it, there are this page right member first member i have registered second member i have registered third number i have registered three numbers i have registered successfully so bike as here insert here one bike so here this member has this bike this number has this bike. so here member one click on this it's inserted second member second the m00 member has another bike M002 bike as this bike to as this bike. Okay, so it's successfully done. Now let's go to the refresh the table. Now let's go here and bike table. You can see the bike the member IDs, model, and bike numbers. Some members. Look okay. at the bike. Right, perfect. Now let's go to the thing is many to many relationships right many to many relationship we have a member 
more members have more bikes. So imagine in your home now again rules has been changed. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, uh, father saw two bikes. So we have a three bikes. Earlier we have our home have five bikes. Unfortunately, father saw two bikes. So we have three bikes. So we have uh, five members in our home. Father said that anyone can uh, anyone can use any bike from it. Anyone can use any boy's bike from it. That is the meaning of many to many relationship. So this we have a uh, five members in the home. These five members use these three bikes. Any bikes we can use out of this. Right? We can any member can use any bike out of this. Right. So here but, but now this is a parent table as member table as a parent table ID member name. Member ID member name. Right. This is again I'm going to use a member ID. Right. After that, parent table another way bike bike as a model, bike number and model. Bike number is a model. Bike number model. Number model. Right. So in child table as you can see these two things. Member table ID, this bike table, bike number, this bike number, bike number, right? So member table ID is here. This bike, M zero zero one member ID can access this bike as well. member two ID as uh, can access this bike as well. this bike as so well. okay? Anyone can access any bikes, okay? This member can use this bike, this bike, any bike. Okay, the, this member can act, use this bike and this bike. But one to one many, many relationship, we can't use that like that. If you provide the bike uh, 001 and 2 for a particular number MC001, that two bike can access. In this scenario, any any bike can access any members. Right? Okay, don't worry, this all the uh, this documentation I will give you in my blog. You will be able to go through it and learn it from it. So the how the primary key created on here this table here m0001 m dot m dash 0001 this of the primary key has been created right perfect you can understand these things well right let's go to the database again i'm going to go to my code right query many to many first i'm going to drop the table Create the database again. Use the database. First, we have to create the member table. We no need to explain. We already the same member table. So we have a two additional tables has been created. First, second one is the same scenario. Motorbike table and this one the bike table. The bike table has bike number and model. Another table you have created. Member bike. It has member by cast member id this member id and bike number mean this bike number so we have a two fun key we have to have, we have to give one here fun key member id member table there is id this id we have to we have a created as a member id in member bike table and number table bike number table this bike table there is a number we have reference to the here bike number right we have to write like this member id member bike number so these are the primary key up this primary two are coming from this primary key. we have to write like this this how we have created the relationship right very simple this all things i have provided you don't worry about that now you can hear this code we have to work it right so here work it right so we have to create this two tables we have to we have created or not okay this one we have created you already created right? second one third t -t. Right. tables are created now you have to insert member here you can see first you have to register the members here register successfully you can see here bike i am going to register bikes also successfully here after that you have to insert the value of bike member bikes here anyone can have any bikes here so all the bikes are you have to insert This successful right now if you are look at the table which table we refresh it home table here we have a tables it's a bike table you can see the bike data i remember id bike numbers 
okay this this member have this bike this bike this member have this every bike we can access right so this member table is a bike table bike models right so perfect i hope you guys you understood the scenario well if you have any doubt you can ask me in time if you like my channel please subscribe me love me thank you thank you for watching